Yo, yo, Rangula is here. You are watching, Wrench Feels Like Playing, Death Must Die. Uh, we're gonna give this a shot with Krant. Um, I've tried it with, uh, Scotty. Tried it with Lorian, and I've tried it with Maris. Um, Act 2, and I could not beat it, even on the lowest difficulty. Um, so I switched to Krant here. Um, gonna actually take a look at some of his items. Maybe I can sell some stuff that I don't need, store some stuff that I might want to keep. What do we got here? So we got simple stuff, sell, sell. Power area and sharp, not good enough. Sell that. I'm almost at the point where if it's not tier two mythic, it's not really worth keeping unless it has like an ability attached to it or maybe a, or like a good uh, a build ability. If it has like a high strike or a high power percentage, it's worth keeping, but life, passive experience, banishing, and master offer, like maybe I'll keep that. Probably keep that. Attack area, 102% strike damage. See, like that's a, that would be for like a strike build for, uh, so I'll keep that, I'll keep that. And then this is torso. I don't think this is good enough to keep. I'll sell that. Summoning damage. If I want to do a summon build, maybe I'll keep that. That's not good enough. Mightiful Ring of Fable. See, I think I had this on Krant originally. It does attack damage and attack speed. Right now, I have the Parrot as a ring. I almost wonder if that's just worth swap swapping to right now. Okay, so... I think I'm going to store all of this. Try to keep my storage a little organized here. Uh, do I want to swap that out? I'm going to swap the ring. It gives me 55% more dam attack damage and 21% more legend offers. I lose a, a companion. I'll store this for now this as well go to helmets uh, head and boots and weapons don't think I've actually started a weapons tab yeah, so we're gonna give this a shot. Maybe the check the item shop, see if there's anything good in here. Mainly just looking for mythic items or so like these mythic dash recharge. No. Armor, life, and luck. No, not good enough. What's this? Curse weakness. It's only a rare ability. Damage 60%. Damn. What do I have on right now? I feel like that's close to the thing I have on right now. But better. Or not. What do I have on right now? Yeah. 20% less damage. This is 60% less damage. And gives me heals. Power duration. Passive experience and six banishes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm swapping this one. I'll lose a little bit of life regen. A reroll. And that's it. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Um. Okay. We're gonna move on and try this out. See how she goes. Store that item. Hell yeah. Okay, sweet. Let's give this a shot with Krant. Don't think I have any... I uh, might have... Let's take a look at his... Uh, 
level, yeah, so I can spend more. Okay, so let's take a look. Wild Swing, your attacks and strikes have a larger range. I've maxed that out. Barriers, I've maxed that out. All damage you deal and take is increased. Six and two. Six and two. I don't know. You have more power slots. I think you only have two power slots. Maybe three. What's this? When an enemy hits you, become enraged. While enraged, your strike cast power damage bonus converted to attack damage instead. Four seconds. 140% cooldown 16 seconds. When an enemy hits you, become enraged. While enraged, your strike cast and power damage bonuses convert to attack. That's pretty insane. This is an attack build. Like, I kind of am making an attack build. And kind of a strike. Strike and attack. Wow. That's interesting. Gain an additional value from armor, 4%. What's the next one? Stunned. You can't be stunned or frozen. Okay. We're just going to take this. Max this one out. I'm going to take that. Unremovable. That's intense. I have one more ability. What can I do here? Stunned, frozen, immobilized, and afraid enemies take more damage. So frozen is kind of the build I also have here. I have a ring that... Uh, Every four seconds, stacks chilled. So if I get winter, this build gets kind of nuts. You gain additional value from attack area. See, I kind of like that too. Your chance on master offers is increased. Damn. So these upgrades actually got pretty good here. Only 2%. This is a 6% area increase. And then this is a damage 11 which is kind of also really good for this. i'm gonna actually take ravage for now and it goes up to 22 and probably 33 awesome okay so we're gonna give that a shot i have difficulty 10 on right now maxed out the enemies 40 percent more life 30 percent more movement or plus 30 movement and they attack 20 percent faster difficulty 10 hopefully that gives us a little bit more items here Let's get it on. So they definitely nerfed Krant from original. They were just sitting in urns for an eternity. And he doesn't get it. He just doesn't get life and death, you know? Well, uh, I'm sure death knows the difference between life and death. Um So I got Mort. It's not the greatest. Guess we'll go Soul Stealers. We'll go Soul Stealers Strike. Krant used to just spin around in circles, continuously doing a huge AoE. Death's arrogance will be Time. his undoing. And uh, it's not nearly as effective it uses as it used to be, but. I guess it makes sense. They had to nerf them a little bit. Effects of strikes last longer. That's... I'm gonna take that. Time. And Mort. It's not a great start. I know I don't necessarily like those for this build. Got Krom at least. Uh, let's go... Uh, novice? I might re-roll here. No, we're just going to go war pack. 8% to enemy barriers. And hopefully we get uh, better rarities moving forward here. I was definitely hoping for winter, but I'll uh, I'll survive. The, the, uh, the charm that I have on right now deal stack damage every four seconds or like chilled stacks every four seconds so it slows enemies down at least we are gonna take ravens as our summon oh 
buy some cursed. Wizard popped up or awesome. Okay, our cast master blades. Hell yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So hopefully we get the uh, rupturing, a bunch of rupturing damage is kind of what now I'm looking for. So we stack that and then we can get faster attacks per stack of rupturing. So that's at least something. I'm going to go strike. Sickles of Mort. Oh, back. Curious. Okay, sweet. Mm, I don't know if I want to go lifelink or not. I don't want deadly attack. Maybe execution. Front? Mm, I don't know if I actually need lifelink with front. What are some of my other dashes? So I have time, so that sucks people in. Front, which just does damage. Lifelink drains health. You know what? I'm gonna take lifelink then. Just so I have it. I probably won't upgrade it, but... It's a decent dash. My goal is not to really have low health, so... Not necessarily something I need, but it does damage, I believe, so... Not the end of the world. No mercy. Damn right. Blades. Warpack to adept. Might want to go warpack to adept, even though it's only a one percent increase. I'm gonna do it. Hopefully that pays off later. I think one of my items has like an, a plus eighty percent to rarity upgrades, so. I definitely seem to get a little bit more of those frequently. Which is has has its pluses An and minuses. An eternity like Sisyphus. <laughs> no, his string we keep in the endless chest. Yours is just constantly shifting, but well, at least for now looks finite to me. Oh yeah. Yeah, they nerfed in my opinion, they nerfed the goddesses of fate I don't necessarily like many of their stuff I guess we'll go crit chance 4% they used to do like area of effects and stuff and now they just I don't know they, they seem to they just seem to do less they have some good abilities but not as good as they used to be Okay, awesome. Expert. What do we got here? Do I just pick Bloodlust right now, or do I go Shurikens? I'm gonna go Bloodlust right now with Expert. 2.6 attack speed with stacks of rupturing, so... Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I think we're gonna go deadly. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. Not with this. And I'm not too. I'm gonna probably go with Krant. Maybe time. If time gives me a good attack, I'll I'll take that. Um, let's just go Ravens, I guess. I really should start getting on my attack though.
Ah, oh, shit. Okay, four minutes. Where are the kitty cats? Come on. What do you think of the place? It has potential, I think. It's usually a lot calmer, mind you. Novice stuff. I'm gonna reroll. Uh, do I want to banish? Yeah, I'm gonna banish the deadly attack. I don't really ever gonna want. I'm not gonna pick that ever. And we'll reroll here. Nice. Okay, so let's go inflow. Nope. Nope. We're gonna go execution. Cursed enemies drop experience points. Yeah, I definitely need to get an attack ability here. Pronto. I don't really do much damage. Influence. Fear. Damn it. I'm gonna go fear. Go fear. Five minutes, here we go. Let's go sickle some more. Okay, so we got some expert. Let's go chains of war for rupturing. Yeah, we're gonna go chains of war. My attack. I really need to get an attack. God, come on. Give me an attack bonus here. I want times, to be honest. So I get more experience. to uh, I'm gonna go fear I'm just gonna go fear Motherfucker. 
we go, here we go, come on. Freaking die. Upgrade, what do we got? The fates. You suck. I'll take lifeline, I guess. I don't really need it. Ah, oh, these suck. Um, I'm gonna go lifeline, I guess. There we go, finally. Yeah, I have 200 health. I don't think I really need a lifeline, but... attack shoot experience behind them yeah expert I'll take that oh gosh freaking hate the cats man Definitely a really annoying enemies in Act 2. Come on, I don't do enough damage here. Come on, just die. Lifelink, Soul Stealer's Execution, to Expert. Gonna have to just go life blank here. No, we'll go execution up to expert. Let's try to survive. Try not to die here stupidly. These cats are freaking annoying. I really need better damage here. Come on. Ten minute mark. Ten minute mark. Here we go. Sex. I dislike these even more than the damn freaking kitty cats. Uh, let's go. I guess we'll go lifelink again, I guess. I'm not a huge fan of this run. Um, the gods I got, not great for, uh, for the type of run I am doing. I definitely would have liked winter. Winter kind of makes this a lot easier. Okay, what do we got? Chains of War, Bloodlust. Uh, Will Chains of War, up to two. Here we go. Yep, I'm probably gonna lose my life here. I just, for some reason, have such a hard time of, with these goddamn bugs. Like, I don't get it. They're so freaking hard. Like, to evade their attacks is almost impossible. Freaking die. We're not even at the damn frickin' goblins. Um, guess we'll go sickles and more. Go to library book.
Definitely need some health. Okay, we're at 12 minutes. Uh, we'll go lock, I guess. I don't think I have much status damage. Really could use some life here. Come on. I freaking hate these goddamn homing archers. Barely ever miss, just seek on you, hit you no matter what. Rough out here. Holy hell, I'm gonna die. Oh man. I'm gonna go lifeline again. 53% health. I have 270 health, and I'm still almost gonna die here. Lifelink doesn't seem to heal you. Even at 50 health, I don't get healed from lifelink. That's crazy. Go power upgrade. Uh, health. Probably gonna die here. This is rough. Yeah, I definitely need better gods. I almost exclusively need winter. Uh... Ritual, whenever you gain a level, gain a random blessing for a limited time. I like I don't think I've ever taken that. We're gonna go warp the stack though. 95% increase to our damage. Huge. Kill this bitch. Got him. So health. Lifelink does not heal you. I don't get it. What the hell? Like, I'm, did I... Drains enemies healing you if you're below a certain life threshold. And where is that threshold? 33%. Why am I not getting healed? Uh, we're gonna go warped attack again. 140% damage. I'm well below 33%. Come on. Insect Queen. Ah, I'm gonna lose my life here. I got another revive, so I'll survive, hopefully. Queen. Damn, I have not touched her yet. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my life. Damn it. Come on. Man, I have barely made a dent. Come on. Fear or soul stealers? I guess I'll go fear. Fear's not the greatest, but... On. I'm not even halfway. Come on. Rough, dude. Halfway, finally. Come on, stop running away from me. I guess we'll go shurikens here. Do some more stack of our uh, uh, rupturing. Hopefully our attacks will just go faster, but. There we go. Come on. Come 
Uh, I'm gonna lose a life. This sucks. Come on. Stop running away. Ugh. Oh, we got the goblins. I'm dead. I'm gonna lose my life here. These are the freaking worst. Got her. Finally. Yeah. Goblins are the freaking worst. They're not too bad right now, but at 19 minutes, they get um pretty insane. Uh, let's go fear. I guess. I'm not a huge fan of my upgrades right now, honestly. Speed up a little bit. There we go. I find that if you kind of go in circles with the goblins, it helps a bit. Because they seem to throw it right in front of you, wherever, whatever direction you're moving. So if you kind of just, like, go in circles, you're fairly good, at least at this level. But once you hit 19, Death is just... there's so much going on. Uh... Yes, Soul Stealers? I am not a fan of these upgrades. Okay, so we're at 17. I'm probably gonna... Yeah, this is... I'm not a fan of the upgrades I have on this run. Come on. Damn it, dude. Like, it is almost impossible to get missed. These damn lasers. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Die, kitty, die! Here we go. Uh, War Pact, Adapt, Shurikens. We're gonna go sh Shurikens. <sighs> yeah, 19%. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna go Shurikens, though. Hopefully it'll help us with the Rupture. Give us a little bit faster attacks when mobbed. The final hour. Okay, we got time. Force. Experience pull area is increased. Whenever you pull experience shard through an enemy. I think they nerfed this a little bit. I think this is used to give you more shards as well. Uh, We're going to go warped attack. 185% damage. Okay, we survived. Now we got 18 minutes. It's 19 minutes. That's gonna be. Oh, oh, oh no! Forgot about these bugs. Forgot about the bugs. Yep, there is our first death. Yeah, I don't know how much we're gonna actually make it. I don't know if we're even gonna make it to 19. Come on. Die! Die! Hear me and obey. Master for Rampage. Dash deals more damage. Bloodlust. Attack speed by five or blades. I, it's, uh, I want to go Bloodlust, but I'm going to go Blades. Only our second blade upgrade, which is not good. Yeah. Got him. The apprentice ring. Okay, 19 minutes. This is where shit gets real. This is where shit gets real. Hopefully, my lifelink will keep me somewhat alive. Yeah, this is. I don't know how you're supposed to survive this. You gotta just spin, just go around in circles and hope that uh, you don't get hit. Which is really tough. Serendipity, curiosity. Yeah, they freaking nerfed the shit out of these girls. Um, luck, I guess. 
I don't think I have any luck based attacks, but that's whatever. Yay, 19. We're almost at 20 minutes. Don't know how well I'm gonna face the god. I don't think my attacks are strong enough right now. I didn't upgrade my main attack good enough. Come on. Come on. 20 minutes. Right here. Okay, well, now... I don't know if I'm going to survive here. Um, I'm going to reroll. Hopefully I get more health, I guess. I will banish fortune and banish curiosity and i will re-roll serendipity and guidance wasn't there a life one yeah i'm gonna die here oh man i'm dead i'm dead no i'm dead this sucks Wow, the freaking goblins. I don't know how you're supposed to deal with those. Um, so my warp attack did 1.6k, which is pretty good. What am I missing? What am I missing? Honestly, if I had winter, I'd probably be fine. Okay, so we're going to go and sell... Anything we don't want. Um, anything that's pretty much common is just an instant sell. I don't usually pick up anything that's less than rare. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at our rares. One power slot, no, not good enough. Unique rare, deals more damage to bosses, 100%. Whose is this? Greatsword, so the Scotty? look would i use this over the one he has probably not 100 percent more damage to bosses that's pretty huge i'll probably just store that it's a unique so i'll probably just store it in unique okay here we go walking boots got a rare ability whenever you tear ever a certain distance there's a chance you gain more expert offers this attempt chance two percent Expert skills chance 1%. Distance move 300. And then it's main. Movement speed is minus 50. Yo. That. That's a freaking piss off. Wow. go to chrome i can't even wear those but that is you get a crazy ability but your movement speed just gets wrecked oh uh, i'll keep it but damn i wish that was if they didn't have the movement speed reduction this is a nuts weapon or nuts boots but okay i gotta think about this do we got any more rares that i can just pop off what's this not good enough to sell it um, I can pop that in the library. And another ring. Damage to enemies at 50% or more. I don't think that's better. I don't think that's good enough. I'm gonna sell that. Sell that. Damage three power projectiles. It's actually pretty good. Yep, I'm gonna swap this right now. Now sell this. What's this bow? Does way more DPS, but you get the power projectile counts 
production. Honestly, I want to try that bow out with, with those powers. I'm going to actually sell this. Dash damage, experience gain. No. Sell it. Life, movement speed. No, sell it. Apprentice, unique rare. No. 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 Selling that. Not good enough. I I don't know, man. Like this these boots. I'm gonna probably try them out eventually. But man. I don't know if that's worth it. Uh okay. So I guess I'll swap this belt out for a better belt. All I lose is 1.8 luck and I gain a bunch more shit, so we'll swap this guy. With the one I have. Not bad. We'll store that. Summon attack speed, summon count. Summon count's not the greatest. You can only really get so many summons. Damage and summon attack speed. I will keep it maybe for a summon build and see if it works. Let's keep that. So I'll keep all that. Store that. Okay, is there anything in here that is good? We have... Oops. Oops. Gladiator, you deal more damage to elite, 19%. And it's life, four master offers, it's not the greatest. Sprinting boots of permanence. Dash recharge speed, pretty good. Cast duration. I might I might buy those for a cast build. Lucky Belt of Vigor. Gives you more life and luck. Armor and life. Nah. Learner's Ring. Attack damage, attack speed. 22% more adept and 80 more God Blessing offers. New God Blessing. Uh, that's pretty decent, actually. I don't want to get rid of my legend offers though, but actually take a look at my master. I only have 7.3% master though. So it's like I'm only RNG on RNG when it comes to uh, when it comes to this ring. 21% legend offers only on master offers. So this ring actually might be really good. Um, Berserk. Gain attack speed when below a certain life threshold, below 30% life. Not bad. No, nothing really popped out at me here. Let's, uh, Store this stuff in our vault. Move on. So let's go to belt. This tier one stuff. I need to go through and get rid of all my tier one stuff. I think essentially anything tier one at this point is just useless. that we get winter this time um kind of my hinge kind of my my build kind of hinges on that so i'm actually gonna take this up to that we have 33 percent damage 
or no, 33%, yeah, more damage to enemies that are stunned, frozen, immobilized, and afraid. So pretty good. You gain additional value from attack area. I'm probably going to up that. You increase master offers. Yeah, we're doing that actually. 4% master offers. This 4% is 4%. Hopefully that leads to more, uh, more uh, legend offers. Okay, we're going to try this again with Krant at uh, 10 difficulty here. Let's give it a go. Act 2. Summon power cast. We're going to go power, I guess. Power area. Growing up here wasn't so bad. Mort. It was when I ventured outside that I discovered how colorful life can be, though. I want I more. I way. might want to just instantly. Oh no, I can't alter. I don't have any alterations. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, I don't like Mort. Um, with this build, we're gonna go sudden death. I guess every thirty-three seconds, twenty enemies are killed. It's fairly whatever. It's not really anything. my frost upon him perfect okay let's go we will have frost ring probably should have went frost wolves but we'll just go frost ring for now oh bearing the gift summer of my sister okay fine i guess you need to cool off from time to time okay jeez talk about lame go fury 7% faster. I don't want to waste too many of my rerolls. If there's something I can take that's beneficial, I'll take it, but definitely much prefer higher rarity upgrades. I uh, like these ones. Searing attack. Boom. Right there. Master. Hell yeah. Hopefully I get a bunch of winter offers here. Um, novice stuff. I might just pass on this until I get better rarities. I'll go to the raw frost ring. Yeah, enemies having 40% more health is very noticeable, that's for sure. Why I'm doing this? Do we need a reason to set things on fire now? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Master, master, master. Uh, let's go... Flare. I definitely want uh, Dive as my dash move, so we'll go Flare. Masters. We've got two masters already? That's awesome. Really hope for a legendary soon. That'd be sweet. What is my rarity here? Master is at 11%, so not bad. Again with the why? I've always helped out mortals. Who do you think gave them? Much prefer winter, please. Uh we're gonna go searing attack. Give me something good. Necromancy? No. Execution? I don't have any cursed anything yet. Um, no, I'm gonna go Frost Wolves if that's that's kind of yeah. Um, I guess we'll just keep going with sudden death. I'm not really into Mort really here. Not a fan. Not with this build, at least. Uh, 
I'm getting a little greedy here with my... I'm gonna go Fury. 14%. Um, I want higher upgrades. Even though I probably should have just went with that. Okay, so we got the wizard. So I do 33% more damage to immobilized enemies, so hopefully this helps. Okay. Lifelink, I guess. We'll banish. Pick up drop chance. We'll banish. I almost might want to pick up curiosity if you're perfectly honest. I'm gonna pick up Curiosity for once. I might do some alterations and hope that I can kind of get like, if I get Mort, maybe I'll switch to someone else. Fired up. Searing attack, incinerations, burning enemies, leave fire where they die, that's pretty decent. But I'm gonna keep going with Searing attack. That's my main source of damage, so. 760. I do feel like I'm definitely attacking a lot stronger this round. Could also use a couple more winter abilities, please. Like the trailing frost there, or like her dash move. Would be nice. Okay, we got more master stuff. I think I'm just gonna keep stacking Searing Attack. I do 269% more damage, almost 300% more damage. Yeah, I will be taking that. Sabers, uh, I wanna do damage. Or area, like, damn! I just upgraded my attack to 300% more damage. Honestly, I think area or speed might be more beneficial at this point. Um, I'm going to go area. 44% more area. Like, as is, his spin is huge at this point. I do 1,000 damage minimum at this point. That's her attack. Pretty, pretty good. I'm already happier with this build than my last build. Um, I don't know what everything here does. Obviously, it probably does fire. That does ice. That does... I think this did luck. And then that one probably does death. I'm actually just going to pick this one. Golden liquid again. I think that's it actually does power area. 36 power area, maybe? I don't even know. Okay, so I do have three power stuff. Flare's power, Ring of Fire's power. I definitely use some more strike abilities. Okay, four minutes here. Kitty cats. Died, like, right away. That's awesome. Good, good. I wonder if my flare is taking him out. Death is not the end. Yeah, let's see what she gives me here. I'm just gonna skip her. Unless I get, like, ridiculously good stuff here, I'm gonna skip her. So, alteration. Ice shards. Frozen treasure. I'm gonna go for ice shards. Ice shards here. Your tax hits have a chance to throw ice shards that deal and apply chilled. Fucking rights. The more chilled I can do, the better. That just really makes this build extremely good. It really helps with the cats, for sure. Now I just need dive as my dash move, and I'm happy with this build. Five minutes in. You mortals have such a spark in you. It's something my father could never see. 
Okay, let's see what we get. Fear, maybe fear? Because fear does more, 30% more damage to a mobilized enemy. Or... Maybe fear? Or do I just want to skip this? I'm going to skip this again. I'll banish lifelink. I'm going to just skip this. Ah, oh, damn it. You got to be kidding me. Fates. I'm going to re-roll. Hopefully I get better rarity here. The same stuff, just expert. Um, I guess maybe just freaking chance, crit chance. No crit chance. Oh shit, I just... That was not what I meant, dude. I just went life line. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. It's not a terrible thing to pick. I just... Crit chance would have been nice. sudden death every 25 seconds 26 enemies die so whatever fairly whatever Once again, Mort. All I'm getting is Mort. This is really annoying. I guess we'll go execution. I don't even think I have anything that applies curse to any forget, but whatever. this guy i definitely do a lot more damage this round where's my stack right now 38 percent, and then my attack is 500 percent more damage so i definitely doing a lot better this time i wonder what my uh dps is gonna be or my uh yeah my, my dps for my searing strike is gonna be a moment to consider her actions <laughs> masters uh deal more damage take more damage from immobilize see that's 120 percent as much as i want frostbite i'm gonna take icebound hey so we're at the cursed enemy See if we can just quickly take him out. Come on. Definitely taking him out faster this time. Run away. Okay, he's halfway. Almost got him. He's dead. He's dead. You dead. Got him. Nice. Got a mythic. Okay, so our attacks are definitely working. Our attack damage is doing doing its job. Definitely could use a little bit more winter upgrades, but. Beggars can't be choosers. Um, I guess I'll maybe I'll wait till nine minutes for that. 
<laughs> oh, baby. Frost Dragon. Hell the fuck yes, please. Dive as master. I love that, but I am taking the Frost Dragon. Hell fucking to the yes. I have never seen a frost dragon and this is fucking awesome. Winter. Winter. Perfect. Frozen treasure shivers. Your stat effects last longer. Hell yes, I'll take that. That's kind of what I want. Just means that immobilized enemies will last longer. Gives me more ability to hit them. All around good. All around good. Two thousand twenty four hundred damage, four thousand damage. Like my attacks are definitely much better this time. Did I end up taking that power? I don't even know if I remember taking that power upgrade there. Whatever. Let's get a little bit more damage. 30 seconds. Soul Stealers or Fear? There we go. Master upgrades. Your tax hits have a chance to spawn phantoms. The strike, so. I'll take that. Let's try to kill the kitties as soon as possible. Bum rush them. Try to get behind the lasers. It's the only way to really avoid the lasers is just kind of run straight towards the cats as soon as you see one. Magnet, not bad. There's my power, 100%. Where am I at? I'm at 10 minutes. I'm just going to take it. Brighten his house a little with my snow, will you? Hell yes, I'll take a winter. Ice shards to expert, we will take, or shatter. You know what? I might take shatter here. Is this I already have ice shards? I'm gonna take shatter. Frozen enemies below 10% health just instantly die. Pretty good with the items I have. The more winter shit I can get, I like the winter. This is a pure winter build here is kind of what I want. Your enemy, your attacks gain damage each immobilized enemy. I will take that, I guess. I might want to take Frost Ring, but I'll take Thaw. That is also another really good thing with this build. Nice. Definitely get a little lazy with my dashing. I need to dash more often. Frozen Treasure, Frostbite. Your status effects deal more damage. I'll take that this time. 16% expert. Ooh. Mythic Boots. Okay, what do we got here? Intensity, your powers deal more damage. Combust, combust sucks. Um, enemies de leave fire when they die or intensity. I'll just do intensity, 16% more power damage. I don't know. I, I think Crimbust really sucks. Unless unless I guess you're doing a pure fire build. I don't find Crimbust does anything. Try to take the, the bug ladies ASAP. 
Soul Stealer's Master or Sickles of Mort. I might want to take Sickles of Mort just to have it. I'm going to take Sickles of Mort's Expert just to have it. Gives me another strike. Source of damage. Dark Sphere. Well, let's do damage increase to 50% higher health or 50% health or higher. Enemies. This is a good one, I think. 13%, 80% more life or, or level up offers or... I'm actually thinking uh, level up offers 80% is huge. I'm actually going to go with the health and re regen. I think that might uh, be more beneficial later down the road. Easily. I'll give you that. <laughs> we will go searing attack. 365 more damage with our attack. I just did like 300 damage on one attack, or like 3,000 damage on one attack hit. 3,300, like. Maybe that's not my main attack. Maybe that's something else. I don't know. Thirteen minutes in. I definitely like this run way better than the last run. Sickles of Mort. I'm gonna upgrade Sickles of Mort. Level two. Really would like dive. Uh, we will go 33% heal there. Try and kill this damn freaking necromancer guy. Got him. Shivers. Master, oh, Path of Frost. See, that's kind of another one that I really want. It's only Adept. Side effects last to 64% longer. Like, that's, I almost don't want to miss out on that. I'm, I'm going to take Path of Frost, though. It just helps. It helps. So, 14 minutes. Insect Queen. Let's just try to kill this chick ASAP, which is going really well already. Got her. Come on. Frozen. Halfway already, basically. Maybe not. Yeah, now we're halfway. Come on. Definitely eating her a lot easier this time. I hate how she runs out of the barrier. Damn it! Order, come on. Almost dead. Almost got her. Winter, yes. Encased in a prison of Hell yeah. Uh Okay, so we will go finally do an upgrade for our ice. So status, do more damage. Your attacks have a chance to throw more ice shards. 33% more damage. I'm gonna take that. 
Probably should have went with ice shards, but okay, we got that chick finally. Searing attack, 435% more damage, yes please. this upgrade. I'm not going to pick it. Soul Stealers to two. Yeah, we'll do that. First wave of goblins, not too bad. We'll see once we get to 19 minutes, see how that goes. Really could use dive. Uh, Fury to adept? Yeah, even though it's only 16%, I'll still take it. Seventeen minutes, here we go. What's this? What's this? Just an upgrade. Kinda use the pillars. Try to kill the boss one. There we go. Okay, amount of item slots. Raid. Soul Stealers. Yep. Soul Stealers 3. Frozen Treasure. No. I'm just going to go Ice Shards this time. minutes to deal with the damn bug girls. Try to kill them as quickly as possible. Um, let's probably drop some items here. Okay, your attacks have a chance to deal crit. I'm gonna do the crit damage this time. I'm gonna drop some items here. Drop that. Drop that. Maybe we'll pick up the regen ring. Back up. Damn. These checks are so rough. Royal Dagger of Coping? So we'll go... Probably should go Breath of Fire. I'm gonna go Fury. 25% speed for attacks. I need some health. Damn it.
I don't necessarily want any of this. I'm just gonna have 4% chance to not take status effect damage. Could really use some health right about now. 19 minutes? Okay, here's the stupid goblins. Okay, I definitely got a lot less stuff going on on the screen right now, so it's a little easier to see. A lot of the time, I'm always having, like, major amounts of casting and shit that's just filling the screen, and I can't even see where the bombs are dropping. Shivers. Or ice shards. Or frost ring. Like, these are all really good. I'm just gonna go with shivers. 64% longer lasting status effects. So that means they stay frozen longer, which allows me to attack better. It does so much better. So this isn't actually all that bad. Now I have to just survive the uh, the Jijin. I don't want any of these. I'm gonna reroll. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna reroll. And I guess we'll go Sickles and Mort. Flare? Yeah, we're just gonna upgrade Flare. Okay, we're almost at uh, the boss here. I almost might want to hold off on the speed upgrade there. Frostbite attacks, deal more damage, or shivers last longer. I'm gonna go 96% more life on that. We will click on this as soon as we get to this guy. I'll probably end up losing a life here, but hopefully, yeah, just lost a life. Hoping that's all that we're going to lose there. One life. And we can kill the... Okay, we're already halfway. Come on. Where'd he go? I think we're doing really good. Really good right now. We're doing really good. We are doing really good. Let's just keep on keeping on here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Don't fire at me. Don't fire at me. Don't fire at me. Damn, dog. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. We're almost got him. Damn it. Where'd he go? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're dead. You're dead, bitch. You're dead. Got him. Got him. Okay, let's uh, drop anything that is shit. What's this? Shit. Anything that's rare. What's this? That's shit. Dash projectiles count. It's only that. That's shit. It, let's try and pick up everything here quickly. Damn it. Uh, let's drop another thing here. Oh, what's this? Two summon count. That's really not all that great. Like warrior build. So that's like, is that Scotty? What is this? Is it great sword or is it a sword? Where are we? Great sword. Two summon count. Scotty already has three summons. I'm gonna drop that. I don't need that. I would never use it. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. We just defeated the Digin on fucking 10 difficulty. Act two. Hell yeah. With a frost build, basically, with a frost dragon. My searing attacks did almost 3k. A uh, freaking 3k per second. Yeah. Searing attack is the way to go with that. My frost dragon did 800 per second. Sickles of Mort did 1.3. So, yeah, this build was pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, that was Wrench Feels Like Playing. Death Must Die. If you liked what you saw, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. That would really help my channel grow a lot. Until next time. Peace.